everybody this is timothy luke i'm just literally finished taking the wraps off the next version of gnome sequencer enhance 1.3 and this is the very 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 interesting release in the fact that everything that you need to do you can now do solely in game you don't need an external text editor you don't need gsy macros for normal day-to-day -day stuff you can do everything in game so if this will be the first video where i don't cut out to notepad don't cut out to atom this is all in game so what i am going to do is i'm just going to bring up um there's some changes in the buttons and we'll come to those in a sec but literally i've got one two three four five six none of these are a sequence called uhdk um and by the same token if i bring up my macro list I've got Unholy Apocalypse, Unholy Rotation, there's nothing called UHDK. So what I've done is, this is the Wow Lazy Macros website. Um, I found this one that was updated earlier today called Legion Unholy GS. And I'm literally going straight to the bottom. I'm going to grab the last version, which is this one. And we're going to bring this in-game, import it, and use it. So I've gone copy bring up the editor and literally in this box I don't even worry about the drop down list I go import close if I bring up my macro window there's my UHDK button and if I walk up to the target dummy we're away so I've done that totally and solely in game I haven't done it out of game I haven't needed to reload it's just straight in so to, I'm just going to get out of combat. I've got a pet at the moment. <laughs> pet makes things uh, a little bit awkward. So I've got my macro. There's my normal ones. So these buttons down the bottom, what has actually changed on this version is if you look at the actual macro itself, we've got a few new bits of metadata. We've got a version equals one. We've got a source equals local. Now if I take one of the other ones, That'll say version equals one, source equals GS Darkrams. This one's this means this macro is out of Darkrams' mod, and it's out of version one of his mod. So the local one that I created, this one I imported, just says source equals local, version one. Now what do versions mean? Versions mean that we can now turn around and have multiple versions of the same macro without having to need to cut out, cut back, do a console reload, go out into the game, save stuff, or whatever else. So you saw me do an import. This other one up here says manage versions, but before everything's just version one. So let's take this one that we've just created. Actually, no, let's take one of Dark Rams' ones. Let's take Unholy Apocalypse. Let's take this post macro bit out. Um, create edit. I take that line out. Go close. All of a sudden we have a version two, source equals local. And if I go manage versions on the end here, I can compare the current version is version 1. I can compare that to version 2. Um, I can go, let's make version... So we'll let's make version 1 active again. So we've now got version 1. Boom. Let's make version 2 active. Boom. Great. Um, we don't want version 1 anymore, so delete, let's delete this. Uh, no. Nah. So what it's going to say is you cannot delete this version of a sequence. This version will be reloaded as it's contained in GS Dark Rams. So what's happening now is it's saving every single macro internally within the game. But when you log out, it's basically looking at all the ones that you've created locally and all the versions of macros you've created locally, and it's keeping them internally. Every other version and every other macro that's in a mod like GSMy macros or Dark Ramses or Drake macros, it's basically leaving those alone. It's not trying to delete them because as soon as you load back up again, it'll load them back in. Um, what it will do is it'll turn around, what I will do in the next version is I want to put an option in to disable a macro. So you can turn around and say, look, all this stuff that's in, you know, out of Dark Rams and stuff, I want these five macros, I don't want those next eight. So I can disable those eight so that they don't keep creating buttons for them or creating macros for them. They just, you know, they'll just appear in this list, but they'll be in a, like in an inactive space. Um, the other thing you'll notice is this is just showing me DK macros. It's not showing me... Um, mage ones, it's not showing me paladin ones, it's just showing me all these ones, these bits and pieces. Um, and my create edit button is still the same as it was, so I've got import, I've got manage versions, I've got that shortened list. 
it's all done in game. There's nothing outside. I don't have to tab out and do anything. That's pretty much 1.3. There's a ton of work to get that to work. Um, the add-ons are also uh, the interface stuff's also a little bit different. Um, by the time this is actually released, these will actually say stuff as opposed to being blank tick boxes. I know what they are, but at the moment they're blank, so don't worry about that for the moment. Um, I've also split up plugins so that you've got these are the ones that it knows and is using. These are the other ones that you've disabled but are available. Like they're ones that the mod knows exists but they're disabled. I've also split out the debug stuff so you can actually start to get some more information about what's being debugged, what's being, you know, you can turn around and debug GS Core but not the editor or not the translator or you can debug the editor or da da da. This area will change a little bit more and become more useful. At the moment it's just me cleaning stuff up to make it easy for me. But apart from that, there's a 1.3, I think it'll be Alpha 4, um, will be released at the same time as this video. Um, I'll put a link to it on YouTube so you can actually see it and get to it. It'll also be linked in the Wow Lazy Macros Discord. Um, have a look at it, have a play with it. The only thing I do need to turn around and say that if you're an old, old, old school um, GNOME sequence user from the past, and you're still sawing everything as um, in the one sequences file and you put it in GS Core, that mode just won't work anymore. But what you can do is you can turn around and open up your sequences file um, and you can turn around and take everything from the like sequences equals from the top all the way down, copy all of your macros in and you can hit them and import them in one hit. You don't have to import one, then the other, then the other, then the other. You can just import the whole lot. So apart from that, that's pretty much all that's coming in through 1.3. There's obviously some spells like Shield Slam, which nobody ever used. Um, apart from, yeah, they've been fixed in the translator and they won't come up red anymore. They will basically work for all languages and things like that. There, there was just a couple, two or three that are missing. I think I've got most of them, but if you stumble across one that's missing or you stumble across a problem, um, please drop me a line on Discord, throw a ticket up in uh, GitHub. But apart from that, Good luck, have fun, and thanks for all the fish. See ya.